it took only a few seconds for the S to start falling on Gaza again. By mid-morning, 32 people had, according to local news, and the already crowded wards of Gaza's remaining hospitals were struggling with an influx of new patients. This is the largest hospital still operating in Gaza. UNICEF spokesman James Elder said in a video on Channel X the health system is overwhelmed. It cannot handle any more children with war wounds. He was speaking from a room full of children. Families seeking treatment for their injuries or rapidly spreading infectious diseases mix with those taking shelter in hospitals to protect themselves from the cold. Describing the rapid resumption of hostilities, he added that no place was safe from S. One had already landed just a few dozen meters from the hospital. The people Gaza know what will happen after seven weeks of intense ardment and a ground offensive. In the north that has killed more than 15,000 people, more than two-thirds them women and children, people fled their homes after Israel resumed fighting in southern Gaza on Friday. Xinhua U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Israel must do more to protect civilians as it begins targeting Gaza again, but many in the field are working to support civilians their fear an even greater disaster is looming. The new waves of attacks hit a population that had been physically weakened for weeks. Without access to adequate food, clean water or sanitation, traumatized by war damage, and largely displaced from their homes. Almost 80% of Gaza's population are now internal refugees. Aid agencies have warned that even increased food and medical shipments during the ceasefire are a trickle that does not meet the basic urgent needs of people in Gaza. We were abandoned, said the manager at a UN-run shelter at a vocational training center in southern Khan Yunus, who asked remain anonymous because he was not authorized to speak the media. The week-long ceasefire made little difference to the conditions of the displaced, who subsist on undistributed flour, canned tuna or beans. We can hear the ing right now and many people are very worried. They just think about surviving from day to day. Everyone has lost their homes or many relatives or both. We can't think about anything anymore. After end of the humanitarian pause, smoke rises after explosion following Israel's attacks on Rafah. Anadolu Israel's new orders to evacuate declared safe areas in the south have increased fears about what the coming days and weeks will bring. There are 6,500 families in this shelter and we are not from here. We all came from the north anyway and we have no home. Nobody has anywhere to go, said another executive. There is no room for people even on the streets. Hospitals are completely full. There is nothing to eat in the markets. And now it is cold at night and children are suffering a lot. People are cutting electricity poles to obtain wood to heat the fire. So where will we go?